cavity of week four of intro to sing dancing. We did not do whatever that was. Um, <laughs> we did promenades and a follows yo-yo, also known as a follow goes. Mm -hmm. um, and so a promenade is an eight count move. It moves down a line. So can we scooch all the way this way? Can we do it with partner? Oh, hi there. No, it's fine. Um, and this is a move where the leader puts their partner out in front and then their partner's momentum carries them down the line. And so it looks mm -hmm. like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, or with steps, it is rock, step, trip, little step, walk, walk, trip, step. Um, and so the air traffic control version of this, if you were playing along at home, mm -hmm. is that leaders take their right arm and guide their partner out in front. We are offset. I can look over Ryan's mm -hmm. shoulder, right? Which also means we have room for our feet. But also, I'm actively seeking into Ryan's hand, which creates a little bit of room for both of us. And that Ryan is going to step straight into my space, and I'm stepping straight out, right? Versus trying to step around your partner. Mm -hmm. We want to occupy the same set of train tracks. Um, and we talked about follows, like, really, your partner on counts one through four has kind of set a direction and a line. And five, six, seven, and eight, like, you can let your momentum roam free. Mm -hmm. So right? momentum-wise, like if I let, if I just let go of you after this. Like I have this amount of momentum, right? Without a partner. Yeah. I'm gonna move with that amount of momentum. And for a brief moment, Ryan is going to follow me. Right? Because I have a certain amount of momentum and Ryan's gonna match that. Mm -hmm. um, and so we were letting follows be a little bit more assertive there. Mm -hmm. You're now a shrinking violet, let's just keep your momentum going. Um, and it actually makes it easier for the lead to complete their part of the move because then you're both doing equal shares of the work. Um, and then the next move we did was a yo-yo and it starts off the same way and my momentum is still continuing with all of that same energy, but Ryan catches it, scoops it up, and brings it back where it started. So that one looks like rock, step, triple step, boing, boing, triple step. So if we do that maybe facing the camera, right? So Ryan puts me out in front, rock, step, triple step, rock, step, triple step, and we end up facing the same direction at the end mm -hmm. versus making a 180 like mm -hmm. we would with the promenade. Yeah. So I think that's everything that we covered. Um, we talked a little bit about uh, follows allowing your hand position to change. Can you turn this way, right? When I'm standing with Ryan in just a normal pose position, my hand might be somewhere along here. We want to try to not put it way over here because it's a good way to get stuck. Mm -hmm. And also not, and also not like clutching up mm -hmm. at the top because it's a great way to just pull my partner's mm -hmm. shoulder. They're not going to enjoy that. Um, but when my partner puts me out in front, I adjust it so that I'm just kind of like gently like utilizing the back of their tricep because that also keeps my hands at a roughly um, even place versus kind of mm -hmm. quasi-moto like this. Yeah. Um,